July 23rd. Happy summer, folks. The weather has warmed up and things are happening a lot faster than we can keep up with videos. So today we'll just do an update and share what's been happening. Our shishito peppers are forming now and we're starting to harvest some away. And um, next to it are some basil. We have the Erko Ver bush beans and we've already harvested a handful um, and had them for there and so we're gonna leave the plants here as living mulch to keep the soil cool for the tomatoes in the back and then also we're leaving some of the beans for seed saving so we have uh, the sun cherry that we've seen the vice bear heart we've already harvested some away and I haven't been able to do a taste testing video so what I think we're, we'll do with the harvest is sun dry them and then we'll wait for the next um, cluster to ripen and then we'll do a taste test together the Cherokee purple is starting to turn color so they're getting they're getting ready to be um, ready to go red soon um, what are these these are golden jubilees and they're uh, they're hiding in the back more than in the front so there's some back there and then we have the copia uh, it's still growing, hasn't turned color yet, so waiting to see the, the, um, the pretty patterns on them. We have a uh, Congo watermelon down here, and I just culled this one because it's asymmetric, and I think that uh, when fruit is asymmetric, it means it's not well pollinated. At least that's what, what I think, so I picked it off and I'm going to let the plant make another watermelon for us. This is a... Um, mulberry that was gifted to us by our friend Sean back there are a couple of I think I thought they were kombucha or but they're actually um, sugar pie pumpkins and I remember that I got a strain that grows flat so we've harvested those uh, away this is um, the Kentucky Kellogg's breakfast and it's getting very big this is the one that I'm looking forward to trying and then we have the Drusba, some of the lighter colors from Sunscold, so we'll have to do a better job at covering the tomatoes. And then we have a couple of Ice Bear Heart tomatoes. And they're very interesting. Um, yeah, they're, they're two Ice Bear Hearts after all, not, not a Sun Gold. And we have our Golden Bantam Corn. That's growing in front of that planter. And if we come and look over here, we have the rest of our garden. Um, we're growing more flowers this year, so they're they're in bloom now. So we're gonna look at them. This is uh, these are the red evening sunflower, and I didn't think that they can grow this tall. I didn't never looked at the seed packet. I thought they'd grow to about three or four feet, which is what normally happens. But I guess with the planter loaded with a lot of nutrients, they sucked it all up, and the tomatoes the Roma tomatoes in here didn't grow very well so I went ahead and pulled it out because our Iroquois black sweet corn needed some space in the ground so these were transplanted and here are some of the zinnias that are in bloom they're really pretty flowers we have more zinnia in bloom this is a green envy and I believe these are thumbelinas Here's another one. Um, while we're out this way, we have the San Marzano that's turning color, so they're starting to get go ripe. So here's here's some that are turning color, and we have a Pasilla Bahio pepper. And these are like ancho peppers where you use them dry. Um, sweet Siberian watermelon. These these were sown earlier in the year, and just looking at the leaves, um, they're not going to get big, big, but I think we're going to get one that's at least three pounds, so um, we're looking forward to trying that. And let's go in to the rest of the space here and look what's here. If you're curious about Pakistan mulberry, this is what they look like. And they do best during hot days because 
um, they'll ripen in one day. In the cooler parts of the year, it'll ripen halfway and then you don't have the fruit to really enjoy. Um, this is this is a yellow squash that we planted here and then our strawberry popcorn is there. This is the better bed of Roma tomatoes and we've been harvesting them away as they get ripe. Um, more, more of that Iroquois black sweet corn and our Aleppo peppers are forming now. We have the Prince Borghese tomato and back there is um, I think that's a Jerusba tomato. We have the Kentucky Wonder beans that are growing back there and we harvested some of those for dinner as well. And um, there was a small ear of Seneca red stalker corn that I harvested and um, took a sneak peek at, but I didn't take a picture for you, I'm sorry. They're really pretty corn, so we're just waiting for these guys to dry so we can harvest them. And back here, this extra tomato plant is our sun gold. So we have sun golds there. And um, we'll look at the peppers that are here in this bed. Um, ancho peppers and I think this is another ancho pepper actually these are Aleppo peppers and these are Keystone giant bell peppers and our Thunder Mountain Longhorn pepper is still in the process of making peppers there's um, blossoms now so yeah that's uh, that's it for this space today so with that we're gonna end our update today and thank you for coming out and happy gardening